Is PlayStation hinting at Kojima Productions being now a Sony studio? Hello friends, welcome back to hi games my name is Joseph and it seems PlayStation may be hinting at something happening between them and Kojima Productions, let's break it down. So on the PlayStation Studios website there's a main banner composed of images from all the PlayStation Studios games including God of War, Horizon, Ghost of Tsushima and more. The banner is updated every time there's a new acquisition and Sony has done a lot of them in the past year like when they acquired Housemark after Returnal launched. There was even a leak from PlayStation Japan back in June when they posted the same image with Demon Souls announcing the acquisition of Bluepoint Games a few months before it was official. The same banner has been quietly updated on the website to include Death Stranding from Kojima Productions which could mean they are in talks to acquire the studio or maybe not. If we go back to 2015, Kojima partnered with PlayStation after leaving Konami and started the development of a PlayStation exclusive IP that even used a Sony owned engine provided by Guerrilla Games. And as we could see in trailers and the intro of the game, Death Stranding is very much a PlayStation owned IP, so the update could be tied to that, but there's more. When you scroll down on the website and after the studio's logos, there's a new section showcasing games from PlayStation Studios. There's Horizon Forbidden West then The Last of Us Part 2 and Dead Stranding as well. There's a chance it could also be a mistake or the fact they're only accounting for them owning the IP as I mentioned before, but it's weird cause the banner has only gotten updated with games from studios they own. It wouldn't be surprising if Sony acquired Kojima Productions, after all they already supported the legendary creator in establishing the studio and developing its first post-Metal Gear game. Kojima may be reluctant to let his studio be owned by a big publisher after what happened with Konami, but that stance may have changed after his relationship with Sony. Furthermore, last November Kojima Productions announced plans of opening a new studio in California to focus on other mediums like TV, movies and music. Being a multimedia company is something that Sony could certainly provide support and it was one of the reasons for Bungie to agree on being acquired last January. In a last minute update while I was working on this video, Kojima shared the PlayStation banner on his Japanese Twitter account, later confirming as translated by Google that despite the image sounds misleading, Koji Pro has been and will continue to be an independent studio. But that also sounds very similar to what Bluepoint Studios did after the leak from PlayStation Japan. They updated their Twitter bio to say that they were a fully independent self-funded studio, but a couple of months later we know how it turned out. So in the end we'll have to wait and see, there's a good chance this turned out to be real, with Sony rumor to be acquiring more developers throughout the year. And there you go, that's the rumor on a possible Kojima Productions acquisition by Sony. But what do you think? Do you believe Kojima Productions will be the latest to join PlayStation Studios? Which other developers would you like to be a part of it? Share your thoughts in the comments below, like or dislike to show your feedback, check out other videos you may enjoy while you're here, and consider subscribing for more PlayStation content. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Joseph, this is Hyper Games, and let's get hyped!